Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Behind the Groove podcast. I am DJ Keo. And I am Basil Barrington. And today we checked out Fistful of Vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, did you know that this was a TV show and this is like the sequel to the TV show? I, well, it was, you're talking about Wu, Wu Assassins. Yeah, I did see Wu Assassins, Assassins in 2019. Um, but yeah. that was whack, too. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean... Because like... I. I never watched the Wu Assassins, and and so I was like, "What the hell is going on right now?" Yeah. They just assumed you side and you knew what's going on. Like they just, they the whatever the rundown was, it was like as basic as possible, just this, to, to get you up to speed. It, it, they just assumed you watched it. Uh, Wu Assassins was corny. <laughs> Fistful of Vengeance was corny. Um, I mean, this joint, Fistful of Vengeance. I'm sorry, Fistful. Yeah, Fistful of Vengeance got Fistful of, yeah four point six rating on imdb out of ten thousand, no four thousand, almost five thousand people reviewed this joint i i had a couple beefs with this movie a, a couple oh, really just a couple one of, <laughs> one of my major beefs is that it's dumb different... <laughs> okay sure the the script and terrible is terrible but like all kung fu movies are like kind of silly basically yeah. you destroy my temple i'm avenge my sister yada yada it's the same thing right yeah but like when you watch the movie, it is clear as day that there's different skill levels. Like the the guy that's in the raid redemption, he's at a different skill level from like the girl that was with the gun. Like she's yeah. she's not in that same skill level. No, no, no. So no, like she's, not. she's like a high ya, and this guy's mm -hmm. like, like whatever. Yeah. Like so like it's a it's a clear distinction between because like you normally want watch when you see a movie, like good example is this the Matrix. So you saw Morpheus, Trinity, and Neo. Mm -hmm. They were all similar skill level skill level sets when they were fighting. Right. One didn't look like grossly outmatched, mm -hmm. and like, why are you in this movie? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> you should be doing something else, like be in the kitchen somewhere. Like this, I'll go that far. Like it, it, it looked like some people had no business being in the action movie, and some people were like overqualified to be in this movie. Yeah. That's, that's the best way to describe it, and like. A lot of these people are action stars or stunt people or whatever. So it's not like they shouldn't, it, it, it shouldn't have been this much of disparity between the fighting levels. But let me, let me ask you this. What did you yeah. think about the fighting things for, cause it's basically a, a Kung Fu movie. When you went to Blockbuster <laughs> back in the day and yes. you were digging in the bins for like those super duper, like ultra, you know, you can't find martial mm -hmm. arts movies, right? Yes. The choreography in those marsh in the fight scenes, they were dude. I mean, this was like a was master great. red belt, a master red belt. And yes. they, you know, they were like, okay, I'm gonna do the chi, you do the chai, and that's how everything sort of worked out. And I was just like, and I looked at this and I was like, for a, like you said, it's a martial arts movie. For a martial arts movie, mm -hmm. and for this guy to be the Wu assassin, he is mm -hmm. the Wu assassin. This is a yeah, sequel of powers. this is a sequel of War Assassins, the series that came out in 2019 on mm -hmm. Netflix. This guy is a War Assassin, and he's just getting his butt kicked. I'm like, I'm like, he's getting bodied a lot. <laughs> does he have Does he have like superhero powers or magical powers or something? Because I'm like, if he does, he never uses them. He's getting beat down. Yeah, that the was it the the female Wu Assassin thing that was in the building. She just bodied him. Like he's getting thrown around left Coming and right. Back to life and everything, you know. It's just like he beat up the henchman, the henchman with the mask. Like yeah. they, those guys are they're okay. When it came to a big boss guy, he struggled greatly. And like he's a great action star. I've seen him in a bunch of movies. Yeah. If you see mm -hmm. Raider, Ray Redemption, you're yeah. like, holy crap. Mm -hmm. This guy's a monster. And I'm like, why did they they basically nerfed him for this movie so they can throw him around all over the place. They definitely I, tamed I like it that. down a little bit because even in Wu Assassins, um, there was some some serious fight scenes. You could tell that, mm -hmm. um, like you said, the skill level, the martial arts skill levels of some of those fight scenes, you can tell these were like masters fighting each other mm -hmm. in these fight scenes in Wu Assassins. This one here, it was just kind of bumbling. It was like idiotic a lot. Um, yeah, it was just real corny. 
choreography. It wasn't on the level, wasn't on the level on man. The level. For like when, it just, it just wasn't. even back in the seventies and eighties, when Bruce yeah. Lee was doing flicks, right? Bruce Lee was like, "No, I'm a martial arts master. This is mm-hmm. how fight scenes are going to look." <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't know what happened here, man. But um, this I've, I've been here, watching. I've been watching these kind of movies my entire life, right? Yeah. I got, I have an extensive collection of like martial martial arts movies that I've been watching. Like I I love this stuff, mm-hmm. and that's why I was like, ah, oh, okay, right? <laughs> it's just like it's the, the henchmen were too easy to beat. You're just tossing around like rag dolls, and the boss levels are too hard to beat. And like it's it doesn't I don't know. And, and I, I would have liked to see a montage of training. They need they need at least one montage of training. Right, you know. You um, <laughs> and then the um the female from uh what was her name? Uh Zima. Is it Zuma yeah. or Zima? You know, she's the um what is the Interpol police and then she just got caught yeah, up in guns. all of it. Yeah, huh? She was uh but she ran out of bullets, so I was like, uh oh, <laughs> it's yeah, not but, good. <laughs> but she was finding like clips and I was like, Where are all these clips, dude? It's just like it's she like has a, a video clip game. here, she has a clip there. I'm just like <laughs> what is going on it's just like so i don't know man this is um this was a weird one for me because i started watching it and about 30 Mm -hmm. minutes in i emailed you and i was like dude i don't know if you want to do this (laughs) yeah i saw the email i was like you were like no we're watching this and i was like okay so today we are taking the l watching this movie (laughs) and the other thing is um, watching this movie, I was like, okay, we have to have a bad movie playlist on the channel, yeah, this, right? This goes into the bad movies. This goes into the bad movies. What's another bad movie that we review that's going to go into that? Oh, the, the Bruce Willis movie. Cosmic the, Sin is Cosmic going into Sin, that yeah, one. Yeah, that's going in there. Are we also putting Jupiter's Legacy in there or what? Yeah, we can put Jupiter's Legacy <laughs> okay, in there. Because that was <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> okay, so yeah, bad <laughs> movies, okay. we're going to have a playlist. Yeah, we're gonna put the playlist together for mm. for this movie. Mm-hmm. I think that they t- they tried to make it like a a Fast and Furious kung fu movie. Yeah, that's exactly. like, that's the second I saw it. I was like, oh okay, with the, with all the rap songs and everything. Mm. I was like, this Fast and Furious. This is yeah. exactly what they're doing. And mm. the, and the the dumb jokes. There was just too much dumb jokes, and I like you know, you're, oh, it's like oh, it's an action movie. Like they're straight, straight stabbing people. These guys got like cleavers or chopping people in half. <laughs> also, here's a funny joke. Like okay, like yeah. you gotta you gotta pick and choose, man. You can't either it's gonna be a bloody action movie or you're gonna do a slapstick comedy, but you can't have both. Yeah. And it the the soundtrack was too much rap songs. Like I, for Fast and the Furious, it makes sense. Like I get why they play these songs. Mm-hmm. And you know, they got the Spanish music, they got the reggaeton, whatever. All that makes sense to me. This didn't make any sense. The yeah. the soundtrack. I think there was like it was too on the nose. Like this is a TikTok movie or something like that. I don't know what it was. I didn't, I, was I didn't like, like it. I, I was, when I heard the soundtrack, I was like, okay, it looks like they spent more money licensing these tracks than they did with yes. the actual movie. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because the soundtrack yes. was like, I mean, you had Cardi B up there, you know, I was just like, this joint was not cheap, <laughs> you know? No, they, they spent money on it. it Cause like it was shot. Well, it was the, like, visuals or whatever it was shot well the yeah. action was okay i think that the thing that killed it the most was probably the tone and and the choreography it, w- it was not good it, it was too all over the place There's no consistency yeah, yeah like they should have uh... they should have decided okay this guy's the one badass fighting and everybody else like they're gonna get bodied and he's got to save them okay cool but <laughs> Like it was just all over the place. Like the, who's the other guy? A uh, Tam guy? Or I forgot his name. Let's see here. Let's um, see. Here. I have everything. Louis here. Tan. Mm-hmm. I I like him. I'm rooting for him to be a star because he was in the um. Oh yeah, I like Mortal Louis Kombat Tan. movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and he was in Deadpool. And I'm like, all right, mm-hmm. I, I'm rooting for you, dude. Like I, I hope you get like the that one movie that's like it turns you into a thing. Moral combat was wrong for him. <laughs> and, and this and looks like this it's wrong one, for right. him. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm I am you know? actually rooting for him. The the dude that's in the raid, I, for, I can't even pronounce his name. Uh Ico or whatever his name is. Um oh the guy, guy who played the guy who played Kai, um, the Wu Assassin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah Aiko, that guy Wu, you Wasi throw him some more roles. Yeah. Get this guy in movies. I want to see him start punching people. Like, yeah. let's go. He needs uh, to be in dude, a, um, you're talking about Lawrence 
Kyle or Kyle, the guy who played Tommy. Yeah, the comedy, yeah, the comedy relief guy. Yeah, Tommy. I gotta do it without that guy. <laughs> yeah, I, his character. I think that because like he turns <laughs> out like he's a good fighter and everything. I'm like okay, but like he's the comedy relief. Like the comedy relief, it just I don't know. Like it, the tone just didn't fit for me. The like yeah. the way he, the jokes were, they weren't landing. So it's like that's what I'm saying. Like that the way the movie was designed, I think they should have picked a lane. Like if it's gonna be comedy, just make it silly comedy where people are slipping on banana peels. Like just go that route. But like the Fast and the Furious fights, and then the the music, and then the the comedy stuff. Like, this is too much. It's too it much. It was a slight car that. scene, you know, where they were trying yeah. to get out of a. It looked like a hundred floor parking garage. I'm like, dude, this is a hundred <laughs> floors. How are you getting out just of this? Drive gym, it. Right? Yeah. These guys are running around with their machine guns to the parking garage. I'm like, yo, just drive into them. I mean, it's completely I ridiculous. I think the soundtrack was uh, deliberate. It was just like, okay, this movie, we need to bring in as many young folks, millennials, it, it's um, a TikTok Gen Zers, soundtrack. yeah, exactly, as possible, you know. And I was just like, yeah. okay, well, this is this is going to be a little <laughs> weird. I'm going to take the out. I'm going to continue right watching it. And I'm just See, listen. These, I love a dope soundtrack, you know. Um, but you I'm can. Not, I'm not mad at the songs though. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just don't no, think they fit the movie. They don't fit the movie. I mean, I know what they were trying to do is action. Let's bring in some like you know, yeah, um, you know, some really cool tracks, like some some tracks that are in the know mm-hmm. today that's in circulation right now. And it was just like, okay, uh, listen, yeah. you didn't play that Cardi B track without paying uh, Cardi B a grip. <laughs> Yeah, you know, in the movie. Uh, yeah, it's just I don't know. I don't think it fit. I think that they should have had like a pay like a composer and actually put a a sound uh like some Proper. good music together yeah. for mm-hmm. that that fit the tone and everything. Yeah. It, it was too much. That's so what I say. Like I think that mm-hmm. on the editing floor, you probably could have made this movie better. Cause like I yeah. I liked all the characters. Except the bad guys, I didn't like the bad guys. They're cor- they're very corny. Like, oh, they uh, like the, the, the heroes. The, the, I like the bad guys. Fun. Were um, it felt like the, the bad guys. Or whatever yeah, they they, were. It, this was know. like their first role or something. You know, it's just like, <laughs> wow, these these guys really suck. You know, they don't even they can't even get they it right. Menacing just like, or no? Yeah, you, you gotta be either menacing or like you gotta look like you look shifty. Like you know, you're I can't trust you or whatever. Like it, it's just like, hey there, I'm a bad guy. I, I have this chain i would need to get this uh, pendant or whatever i like guess it, it didn't look scary they weren't scary they weren't evil looking they didn't do anything like it's it was just ah whatever bad guy should put the, the fear of god in you like oh my god if he punches yeah. somebody they're done for right i didn't feel that <laughs> what do you think about um the woo assassin kai who's a chef he's a chef first of all he's a cook right uh and he's okay. the woo assassin right um, what did you think about this person, Kai, being the Wu assassin and just not having skills like fighting skills as an assassin? If what? if someone says, "Hey, he's an assassin," you mm-hmm. know this person has skills. Just yeah, in a movie we, sort of perspective, right? He he used those skills on the henchmen. <laughs> yeah, like he, he had really good fights with the henchmen. Mm-hmm. And then when it came to the boss, he just got thrown around. He threw, they threw him around like a rag doll. I didn't, I didn't like that. Like he, he didn't seem competent when it came up to higher profile villains to fight. Like the like the regular henchman with the with the COVID mask on, whatever mm-hmm. pandemic yeah. mask on. <laughs> right. Those guys. They were all. It was great. Up and uh, the fights are all great. Like they're just knocking them around. Like <laughs> he, he's chopping people up. I was like, yo, all right, let's go. And it came to the every boss, and the bosses just pick him up and throw him around. I'm like, what? What is this? He, this he looked was, um, outmatched. He did. This joint was shot in um, Thailand. Um, yeah, so it looked. It looked like it. It looked like it because I, I was like, "Where's the sun?" You know, mm-hmm. it's just like it's so <laughs> overcast the it entire. Was very movie. orange. Yeah, it was, was very like, orange. Over there? There. You know, it's like no sun and whatnot. Yeah. Um, they were ODing on that color grading, man. That was too much orange. Just it was like, yeah, it down, was, man. yeah, they someone threw like a Lux on that joint that just like <laughs> pimped it out. They were like, just put the whole Lux on a whole movie, right? Yeah, um, they, so yeah, they, they were trying to, who was this person who had the, this person who would bring all the world, bring the world back to its original mankind or whatever. 
what was the name? Uh, Pen Jew or something like that. Um, uh, the person who, mean. you know, if they had put these two pieces together, then this person would have risen. And then, you know, next thing you know, everything would be back to normal. Old girl would bring her family would come back who she lost. Yeah. Yeah. That was dope. Like, that, that, was, that whole pot that thing was with the, the girl. Yeah. She wakes up like, oh, I'm going to stab everybody in the back. Like, <laughs> she just like, how would you, why would you go do that? Like, it just seems such a silly thing. And you know what? The other, the thing that bothered me the most was like, as that was the point where I paused the movie and I went, I, I went outside. I was like, I can't do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> when the, the, kid, the Tommy guy, mm-hmm. when he was like, she was like, so where's your sister? And she's like, she's not here right now. Mm-hmm. And then like five minutes later, oh, she died. And she's like, oh, I'm so sad. Like that, that tone, that whole scene, I was like, what am I watching right now? What yeah. is this trash? That, and, that scene was just terrible. And then yeah, and how she was bad. introduced, she comes out of this rickshaw, whatever it was, finds, you know, Tommy just plants a huge yeah, kiss on his lips. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> who is this person? Right? I mean, who is she? Like spreading <laughs> stuff around, just kissing random people. You know, it's just like, come on. You can't do that. Not into, I mean. Great. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, I, I don't know about this flick, man. So, um, it was, uh, so listen to everyone mm-hmm. who follows us, every, all the subscribers, we take the L so you don't have to, we watch the bad <laughs> movies and then review them. So you don't have mm-hmm. to, or at least you can make a decision like, well, you know, behind the groove said it was bad. So, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, if it's, I, I don't know. I think like with us, if something's really bad, then. It's it's just really bad. It's something wrong with it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I mean, from a from a technical standpoint, this movie's bad. Yeah. It's like a, a art school director. He's like, "Here's a hundred million dollars. Go knock yourself out. Make this action movie for me." It I'm could like, be yeah, someone's graduate pro- uh, project too, huh? This is your graduate. Um, that's the thing, though. Like that's project. that's how it felt. Mm-hmm. Like it, it felt like. Okay, well, I'm gonna copy this movie here. I'm gonna copy this movie. I'm gonna copy this director. I'm gonna copy this thing. The movie had no soul, no. to put it mildly. And I know it's about the these guys are stealing souls or whatever. And even finish that plot, but <laughs> like that, it is missing. It was generic action movie on Netflix. I think that's the best way to describe it. Like there was no style. There was no. It was just a, a copy of stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna take the element of this movie. I'm gonna take the element. Of it. That's what it felt like, and I, yeah. that's a disservice to the because you had quality people in this thing to do this movie. You, yeah, you had there's, some there's, up and coming stars in this of. joint for sure. Mm-hmm. The you cool have a, thing a, about this movie though yeah. is it was only uh, an hour and thirty six minutes. Yeah, it breezed by. It breezed yeah. by. Yeah. You know, so I think if you're gonna have like, if you're gonna put like really weird, corny movies like this together, don't let it be two hours. You know, just uh, an hour <laughs> and a half is is okay. You know, because by the it's time you get to the point where you're like, oh, this sucks so bad, it's about thirty, <laughs> forty five minutes in, and you're like, well, I can watch the other forty five. Yeah, minutes, I can. Right? I can so I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I, yeah, power I can, through. <laughs> right. You know, I can watch the other forty five minutes. This one was. Um, I mean. Do you think that this was as bad or even worse than Cosmic Sin? Not Cosmic Sin is like the all time champ. That's the, That's the <laughs> That is okay. That is, uh, so trilogy, was this yeah. as bad or worse than Jupiter's Legacy? No. Jupiter's Legacy is still uh, worse. Yeah. They, okay, do you want to do the rating now? We'll call it rating. Because the Let's plots are relevant. Good. Plot is yeah. typical kung fu movie with magic. That's it. Yeah, that's the plot. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Vengeance for family member, yada yada yada, end of the world, master, kung fu master, yada yada. Is typical plot. Like the word. How about does the plot. how does it end? How does the movie end before we give the rating? I don't know how it ended because they didn't explain what happened. Right. They so, went down to this portal, mm-hmm. they punched this guy. <laughs> They and he got him. out of the portal. Yeah. <laughs> right. And the, and the thing about it, in this, like, I guess this magical stream of whatever it was, they pulled yeah. these two, they pulled Kai and um, the other person out yeah, with, with a rope. rope with out a of rope. Portal. Out of a magical <laughs> portal with a rope. And then no. everyone, then they were on a beach, you know, after everyone was killed, they were on some beach and they were chilling out like, you know, 
people chilling, yeah. drinking a whole nine. It feels like, I mean, obviously there's going to be something that follows this. ends, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly how they yeah. end. Something's going to follow this. Corona, but that's how it ends. There is going to be another movie <laughs> that follows this because, again, we have Wu Assassins, which was 2019. You think they're going to make another like, one? Oh, yeah, I think, like, I mean, I think they probably have a three or four movie, you know, deal with them because they're following these movies, you know. I mean, Wu Assassins was shot in the same sort of way, you know, that the color grading Mm -hmm. and everything, you know. Um, But I don't know. Okay, so what are you rating this movie, dude? Fistful of Vengeance. Okay. Sequel to Wu Assassins. I give it a four because (laughs) three of the people that are in Stars' movie they're capable of greatness. Yeah. If you watch the raid, you're like, these guys are capable of greatness. Mm-hmm. They just need direction. So it the fighting scenes, at least with the henchmen, I was like, okay, this is pretty good. All right. This some stuff's going on here. Mm-hmm. But the plot was terrible. The directing was terrible. The di- <laughs> just overall feel of the thing was terrible. Mm-hmm. The music was too much. It's too the much. color grading was too much. Mm-hmm. There was no, there's no direction. There's no style. It was a uh, potpourri. It's just a, mi- a mismatch of stuff. Yeah. It, it, it was a TikTok movie mm-hmm. of Fast and Furious Kung Fu. Mm-hmm. So like, because I know there's greatness here, mm-hmm. I, I gave them the benefit of the doubt and I gave them two <laughs> extra points. But <laughs> if I, if I hadn't seen the raid, I'd have been like one, negative one. Wow. But because I seen the raid, I like, yo, like, what are we doing here? Like, get get this guy some more films. Let's go. <laughs> so I give it a four. But because of that, I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they cut some things out or whatever. And Netflix was like, this is too badass. Cut those scenes. Make this right. thing more corny. So, OK, <laughs> I'll give benefit of the doubt. All right. Get a four. <laughs> OK, so you made a very good point because you said, um, you know, just with the soundtrack and everything. So I think um, I'm going to give the movie a three. And I was even thinking about not rating it, like giving it a negative something. But <laughs> I think I gave um, Cosmic Sin like a negative five or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I did rate Jupiter's Legacy. I think I gave it a six or a seven or something like that. Anyway, mm-hmm. so with Fistful of Vengeance, I'm giving it a three. They used um, a soundtrack of today's like hip hop artists, hip hop R and B music. They used mm. um, actors with great bodies, you know, just like just totally great bodies, and they had a lot of like, um, you know, suggestive sex scenes in the movie too, right? And this, yeah, hey, there's like, a big sex scene in the movie. Yeah, so like, and it's just like, okay, so <laughs> this is like, so this this you could tell who this movie is for. You know, right? Yeah, Just based on the soundtrack, based on a, the uh, all the actors and actresses with awesome bodies. I mean, don't even get that twisted. Everyone had a dope body in this joint, right? Um, mm-hmm. And then just the sex scenes, you know? And the acting was, you know, it was a little <laughs> slapstick, like you said. It was super corny. Um, the color yeah. grading was, uh, you know, I think that if... They could have done maybe a small tweak and this movie would have been maybe slightly better than the three. Tone with the editing. If you fix the tone, a lot better movie. This is a three. I mean, I'm only giving it a three because like I said, it's just like, it's not as bad as Cosmic Sin. It is bad. (laughs) Um, And I mean, I did like a couple of the actors um, in there too. So that's why I gave it a three. But this is a bad movie all the way around, dude. There's there's good fights in the movie, yeah, for sure. There's a couple of good fight scenes or whatever. Yeah. Like it, it, the overall movie was terrible with good parts in it. I think yeah. that's the best way to describe it. Like, there's yeah. there's quality things in the movie, but the overall package was bad. Right, and I don't know why. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how that, this happened. I think that when you call someone in 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 movies in TV series, when someone is called an assassin. There is no looking back. This person is a murderer. He is a killer. He or she is a killer. This person is an assassin, you know? Um, and I just didn't see any assassinness with this guy, with the Wu assassin Kai. Mm-hmm. I didn't see any of that. He wasn't Swiss and cat up. I think Tommy was Swissing people up 
more so than Kai. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy yeah. had the butterfly knife. He was right, yeah. he, 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 <laughs> you business. he was like he was on here jabbing people. Yeah, and it was just <laughs> like, I'm like come England, on. they call it chefing people, yo. He was chefing right. people with that knife. I mean, yeah, so I didn't I didn't see any like super duper and there was nothing interesting about the Wu assassin Kai in this movie. He was not an assassin. He wasn't a yeah, killer. You know, <laughs> no, it was nothing assassin he wasn't, about him. In the movie, he wasn't the best fighter in the movie. That's outrageous when you think about it. And he again, he the is the Wu assassin. Don't call yourself an assassin in a movie if you're not a killer. <laughs> you know, you got to be a killer to be called an I, assassin. I think that they need to rework. If they make another movie, they got to rework it and, and make. You gotta make the Wu Assassin the best fight scenes in the movie. Yeah, you can't ha- you can't have this Tommy guy just chef and mofos with his butterfly knife Tommy. and looking like a better thing. Like, Tommy got it, it in, be. man. Tommy was like Tommy, swissing folks up. Tommy's supposed to be good comedy relief, and you know, like they spent more time on on the the what's his name? Uh, was it Kai or whatever his name is? The assassin. They spent more time. Yeah, yeah I Wu. forgot his name. The character. Kai. Kai. They they spent more time on his fight scenes, but they weren't better fight scenes. No, his fight scenes like were corny as anything. Tommy, I mean, Tommy had the best fight scenes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Tommy, he had a he had a couple quality fight scenes, and I was like, oh damn, all right there. Yeah. But like it, it should have been, like you know, say you focus on the the main character, he gets the best scene. Like if you just break it down, like if Jackie Chan's in the movie, the the person that's the tagging along with him for the movie doesn't have better fight scenes than Jackie. No, Chan. absolutely not. Like just, know, it's not yeah. It is clear as day Jackie Chan's gonna have the better scenes at the end, especially at the end of the movie. Right. It's gonna be some kind of crazy stunt where you're like, oh my god, I can't believe he survived. Oh, and it's a movie too. Like Chris, it's something that Chris Tucker is not having better fight scenes than Jackie yes. Chan. <laughs> yes. No, he's not. Absolutely not. Come on. You know? I his his fight scenes were just uninspired. Like yo, he has a style that he because he's from Indonesia. Like he has a fight style. He didn't utilize it yeah. at all. This, this, yeah, this this wasn't good, dude. Um, it's like the have you have you seen the movie Ang Bak? It's a, mm-hmm. I think it's Indonesia too, mm-hmm. and like no, it's a it's a straight. It's elbows and knees, like it's straight. El- this guy, they, this dude wrapped his arms up in like, uh, like in a rope, and mm. then broke a glass on it, and he was fighting people with, with the broken glass on his knuckles. Wow! And like it's, it, it is wild. But I'm just saying, like that kind of style is uh, you, you, there's a certain way that they fight or whatever, mm. and he didn't utilize it for to you know his strength to the movie. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. Yeah, that's what I, was, I was hoping that it would have been like in that kind of vein, or like yeah. in the vein of the raid or whatever. I was I was hoping it'd be in that kind of thing, but it wasn't. It, it was just generic fights. So it's I was like, disappointing, Ugh. you know. I mean, it's it's what the other thing I don't understand, and then we'll wrap this up is like how can someone just put out a really bad movie like this? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they got twenty, thirty million dollars to do this flick. I mean, maybe even more. I'm and it's curious just like, about that. Yeah, it's just it like, seems like they spent some money because like the locations and stuff is, it seems yeah. expensive. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Thailand may be like a little cheaper to like film stuff into, but um, yeah, but like they had a they had a huge chase. Yeah. They shot in a building, or whatever. Mm-hmm. They broke a whole set. Mm-hmm. Like, all that stuff adds up. Yeah, and they're in different. They're in multiple locations. It wasn't yeah. like they were just one in one area. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know, know, man. I, I was, I was actually, I, I think it could have been done better. I feel like been. that. Well, there you have it. Another episode of the Behind the Groove podcast. I am Basil Barrington. I am DJ Keo. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace. All right.